Yeah, I started, um, I would say, four, four and a half years ago. So I used to be a construction worker and I got picked out by my agent um, working in construction that you know I didn't really think I, he thought I could do and I ended up you know, becoming a model, so yeah. I think it'd be my face, like my, my, my jaw structure, the, the all-American look. <laughs> I think the key to success is just being who you are. You know, just bringing the character to, it's just like acting, you just bring the character to the camera. I feel like if you, you, know, you bring a character to who you are, you'll play well. Um, I feel that it's, the, the way it does is, like I said earlier, it's, it's you bring the character to the, you know, to who you are. So if you're wearing, you know, like this Alexander McQueen, like, I feel rich. So it's going to portray me as wanting to play rich, you know? Um, like Versace, we were fighters. Like, you want to be a fighter, you have to be a fighter. So it's just bringing the character, it helps you to bring the character instead of just, you know, giving duck clips and cute little eyes. You know, fighting was, a, was really fun. It just took a lot of time of my life. And uh, like I said, I had two kids. Um, and it was just really hard to, manage the time between fighting and my career and working and kids and um, yeah so when I left that it actually helped me to lose more weight <laughs> and then uh, yeah I kind of just gave it up and went right into modeling. But it's just an easy cakewalk job because it's really not because if it was such an easy job I mean everybody would be skinny and in shape too right? <laughs> That and it's just, you know, you have to bring character. You can't just sit there in front of the camera and, you know, smile pretty and think that it's just going to be a great picture. Ooh, I would say Montclair. <laughs> it was one of my first jobs ever. Um, yeah, so it was my first job ever. I've never worked with Bruce Weber in my entire life um, on, on that level. And it was Cowboys, Indians, and Aliens, and I'm not making this up. It was all one big shoot, it was Cowboys, and there was like legit a aliens and rodeos, and it, it was just all over the road. There was wild animals, really hot outside, and I didn't know where to go, and I went to sit in the tent with everyone dressed like a cowboy, so I went and hung out in a trailer. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't work out too well, but yeah. Uh, my proudest one would be the, the Versace uh, campaign. Not only because it was that big of a caliber, but it was um, it was what I like. I mean, it's what I, it's what I did. I mean, it was fighting, and it was a bunch of guys hanging out. And I mean, I did kiss a guy for the first time ever, which was you know a little different. But um, yeah, it was like this. It was just everything that I ever would do as modeling came true. Um, it definitely wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, when I originally was doing the shoot, Bruce asked me if I would kiss a guy. And I said, you know, why not? You know, after thinking about it, you know, what if Ellen picks it up? What if it, what if it gets, you know, becomes this big deal, you know, with the controversy of the LGBT right now? It was a great time to do it. Um, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> uh, there's a... Bruce asked me to have this guy, you know, go ask him if he would kiss me for the scene. And I thought, all right, whatever, I'll just ask this guy to kiss me. So I went over and I said, hey man, you know, Bruce wants you and I to kiss. And he looks at me and he's like, you know, looking at me all weird. And he's like, absolutely not. He's like freaking out. You know, and I'm just telling him like, yo, you gotta be quiet. Like, this is the first time I'm ever asking a guy to kiss me. And, you know, I'm getting turned down, ever. You know, I've never, never in my life have I ever done that. And uh, I ended up kissing my sparring partner that I used to fight with in Chicago, who I got, you know, I introduced to Bruce and ended up working with. And it wasn't that bad, except when I told him that we had to kiss, I, we, I didn't really understand that we had to do like 15 takes. Because <laughs> it wasn't just photo, it was video. So yeah, we kissed like, uh, like 15, 20 times. <laughs> well, anywhere in the world I've already done. Uh, a shot with Ron for Demand Magazine in Bali. That was, I mean, I never even knew who Bali was until the, you know, a couple days ago. It was the greatest thing in the world. Um, 
My favorite would be a fragrance. I'd love to get a fragrance, you know, or a nice big campaign and travel all over <laughs> and shoot it. Yeah. The best way to describe it is it's everything that everyone told me it wasn't. So everyone told me, you know, you gotta be careful, you know, you're going across seas, you know, over there is dangerous. And I get here and it's nothing like that. People are great. You know, the food's great, the culture's great, everything is, it's amazing. And then, you know, Jakarta's awesome, and then you go to Bali and it's like, you can't even describe the feeling you get until you're there. Okay, so if you wanna get in shape, there's three ways you can do it. You can do uh, high interval training, it's called HIIT training. Um, treadmill, which, and if you, you know, if you don't like the treadmill and you're bored with it, you can always do jump rope. I like to do jump roping, I found it for fighting. So, you know, you jump rope for a minute or two minutes and then go to do, you know, push ups, sit ups, full body workout. I found doing heavy, heavy weights or a lot of weights makes you more like a ball rather than being long. And what else I do also is rock climbing. I love rock climbing, it's fun. Indoor rock climbing, not outdoor. Having kids is like, that was my biggest achievement in my life. It's like being a father, you know? A successful one too. <laughs> life is movement. And what I mean by that is like, you know, you then need to move. Like, you know, when you start to slow down in life, everything slows down. As long as you're moving and you're pushing yourself, you'll never, you'll never stop. You can't stop. Life is movement. I got that from uh, a movie, World War Z. But it's ever, ever since I've seen it, it's stuck with me for forever. To travel. I would tell him to travel and see the world. In 10 years, I, you know, I want to see myself being a very successful actor and, you know, traveling abroad and, and just, I mean, just seeing the world. You know, because being, ever since I've been here, like, it just, it really showed me that, like, there's so much more going on than inside my little bubble that it's just, there's, it's amazing, it's an amazing world we have, and we don't travel enough, I feel. I feel we don't see the, you know, what the world has to offer. I feel accomplished, you know? I feel like I've done some things that, you know, I've thought outside the box. You know, there's a lot of what ifs and a lot of scary moments of not knowing if I'm going to make it or I'm going to do this or is this the right move. And yeah, it's just the accomplishments of what I've been through and what's going on in the future is, you know, all pays off. Hard work pays off.